The average lifespan of a pet rabbit is roughly 6 to 12 years. The older your rabbit gets, especially if your pet has been sick or has pre-existing conditions, the more stress and anxiety can fall upon you as your concern will naturally grow that any form of illness could be a sign that the end is near. While this is certainly a topic that no one wants to think about, let alone discuss, it must be done. Death is simply a part of life. As a rabbit owner, it's important to know which signs and symptoms to look for during your rabbit's time of need. Knowing several hallmark symptoms of trouble can potentially prolong your rabbit's life while also helping you to prepare for the end, should your rabbit's physical decline culminate in the worst case scenario. In this video, we'll discuss five factors that can warn you that your rabbit could be dying. If you would like a complete list of 10 factors, please visit us at rabbitcaretips.com. There you will find a detailed article regarding this very sensitive subject matter. If you're currently watching us off-site, please click the initial link in the description box below that is available to you. Said link will take you to our valuable information. And without further delay, let's get started. We thank you for watching and taking a few minutes out of your day to spend them with us. Appetite is the key word here, more specifically a lack thereof. While adult rabbits don't consume as much as they once did when they were bunnies, a complete lack of an appetite is cause for concern, especially if your rabbit has gone days without eating. Many sicknesses, both mental and physical, can cause a loss of appetite. Loss of appetite can also be a generic sign of old age. Monitor your rabbit closely. If your pet continues to not only avoid food, but flat out refuse meals, please take your rabbit to the vet as soon as possible. Rabbits are active, most always active. This is why lethargy can be a major red flag. While every rabbit is certainly different, and you'll know your rabbit's natural behaviors the longer you own your pet, if normal playtime becomes sleep time and physical activity as a whole becomes space that is used for resting more than anything else, then something is definitely wrong. While southern lethargy can be a sign of stress, long-term lethargy for seemingly no outside reason, warrants a trip to the vet. When lethargy reaches a critical state, your rabbit can refuse to move entirely. Rabbits are known for keeping up appearances. This involves healthy and soft fur and skin. Grooming is a critical activity, similar in many ways to cats. However, rabbits that begin to neglect fur and skin care could be suffering from a medical ailment. If greasy and matted fur begins to consume your rabbit's appearance, then this could be an early sign of a skin condition. Rabbits are susceptible to a variety of skin diseases, parasitic diseases, infectious diseases, tumors of the skin, etc. Some of these issues can lead to death if not treated in a timely fashion. In addition to greasy and matted fur, bald spots can also be a symptom of a major problem. Dandruff and the flaking or scaling away of skin can also be present. One notable condition that can prove fatal is fly strike. This is the byproduct of flies laying their eggs deep within a rabbit's fur. Dirty fur, fur that is stained with urine and feces, and generally wet fur can become ground zero for flies. The result of fly strike is maggots. They can eat away at a rabbit's skin. This is extremely dangerous. And if you notice that eggs or maggots have developed on your rabbit's fur, please act immediately and seek professional care. This medical emergency can be resolved if caught early enough. If a rabbit is near the end of its life, its vitals will change dramatically and depart from a normal range. This includes changes in temperature and heart rate. For a healthy rabbit, the body temperature should be between 100 and 104 degrees, heart rate between 180 and 250 beats per minute, breathing rate between 30 and 60 breaths per minute, and capillary refill time, two seconds or less. Before you take your rabbit to the vet, you can check many of these ranges on your own. Check your pet's temperature with a thermometer. Heart and breathing rates can be observed visually and through the use of a timer. Capillary refill testing can be achieved by opening your rabbit's mouth and pressing gently against the gums. The more pressure, the lighter the gums will turn. Once you remove your finger or fingers, how long it takes for the gums to return to their normal color is the capillary refill time. Anything beyond two seconds is problematic. 
If any of these ranges are beyond normal, especially to a significant degree, then emergency medical care is needed. Do not wait. If these changes were sudden, the situation can be all the more critical. The fifth way to tell if your rabbit could be preparing to transition, to put it respectfully, is the onset of breathing difficulty. Healthy rabbits have very calm breathing with very little sound. Rabbits breathe through their nose. The passageways are usually clear. However, a stuffy nose is a clear sign that something is not right. While a mere stuffy nose doesn't mean that your rabbit is near the end, there are certainly difficulties that can reach crisis levels. If your rabbit is gasping for air, wheezing, coughing, mouth breathing perpetually, has constant shortness of breath, flared nostrils, sneezing, and a runny nose, things could be dire. While some of the aforementioned issues are certainly worse than others, if your rabbit is struggling to find its next breath, then professional medical care is a must. If this symptom arises, do not wait another minute to attempt to find out the root cause. Simply act immediately. While rabbits do breathe harder when they're stressed, if you've owned your pet for a while, you know what qualifies as normal behavior. If it's seemingly random and highly unusual, you know what to do next. While this was certainly an unpleasant video to make and an unpleasant subject to address, the information is very important. The goal here, of course, is not to alarm anyone. The goal is certainly not to scare anyone into thinking that every little cough, wheeze, degree of lethargy, and unusual vitals is a signal of something critical, but it's always important to monitor your rabbit's health and be mindful of unusual changes in behavior, especially if you care for an older rabbit with pre-existing ailments. If you would like a complete list of 10 signs and symptoms of note, we encourage you to head on over to the aforementioned rabbitcaretips.com. We've prepared a wonderful and respectful article for you. Watching off-site, please hit that initial link in the description box below. It'll take you to the material in question. And on that note, that will conclude things for this video. We thank you once again for watching and taking the time to engage us today. It is very much appreciated. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we'll talk to you later.